Maryland Senator Barbara Mikulski was at Fort McHenry today to honor Maryland's last living member of the segregated 65th Infantry Regiment. The 65th will receive what many say is a long overdue Congressional Gold Medal. 11 News reporter Rob Roblin has the story. The brink in the years, proud soldiers from Puerto Rico. They not only had to fight the enemy, they also had to fight prejudice. They would deny them of rice and beans. They would make them shave their mustaches. Puerto Ricans were court martialed for even speaking Spanish. Known as the Brinconeers, the United States Army's 65th Infantry Regiment fought with distinction in World War I, World War II, and the Korean War. A segregated unit, the Brinconeers not only had to deal with the enemy, they also had to deal with discrimination. To be derided and say the only thing they were good was to do the cha cha or the Congo line. I mean, they heard all this stuff, and yet they went out there and they fought their heart out. 3,000 Purple Hearts, 600 Bronze Stars. I think we showed that these men had guts and they never got the glory. Mr. Martinez. It is my honor. Here, let me give you a proper handshake. Today, Maryland Senator Barbara Mikulski was here at Fort McHenry to honor Maryland's last living Brinkaneer, 96 year old Leonardo Martinez. It was a combat soldier. It was a good people. We stay together all the time. Injured in Korea, Mr. Martinez has already been awarded a Purple Heart. The motor round came in, <coughs> killed three of the other men. And wounded him in war. Don't mess around with a Latina because if you get him angry, just like his name says Leonardo Leon Lion, he'll fight like a lion. As soon as the president signs, the 65th will receive the Congressional Gold Medal. Despite racism and discrimination, the Brinkaneers fought with courage and honor, and now they are finally getting the recognition they deserve. Because out of America, we don't, we don't work like that. We're the eagles. We fight together as one. So, so we have to correct all of these things. Rob Roblin, WBAL-TV, 11 News.